Welcome to the Tony Gaskin Show, best-selling author, celebrity life coach, and international speaker. The purpose of this show is to bring you motivation, inspiration, and education in the areas of life, love, and business. Thank you for joining me. Now let's get started. Hey, hey, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Talks with Tony. Got an email, and I was reading the email because it was two of them. And so I read the first, and then I went down to the second. And on the second one, you know, the young lady was saying, Mr. Gaskins, I sent this email in below four weeks ago, and to date I have not received a response. (laughs) So I think she was confused on how this works. Now, she luckily was at the top of the email inbox, and it's just kind of luck of the draw. But I actually have emails from February of 2017 that have not received a response because what you have to realize is I received thousands of emails. So although I make you feel like a individual, you know, because I don't want to make people feel like I'm herding cattle, like a lot of people with a following do, uh, me being a servant, I try to have a personal touch. So understand that this is, is Jesus way of doing business, but at the same time, Even Jesus, when he fed the 5,000, he wasn't able to touch all of them. So please know that, you know, I am speaking and sharing my message with 3 million people on social media. And not all of those people are on YouTube, just a few are on YouTube. Um, But the people from Instagram and Facebook and Twitter are also emailing me. And so I have thousands of unread messages that come in and just so happened I was I saw yours and I think the last one came in in May and she said I need an answer to this right now and let me tell you when you need an answer to something right now that means that you have a demand when you have a demand that means that you have to open your purse so what that means is that you have to sign up for a coaching session What I'm doing on the podcast is a luxury. That's if I see your question, if I feel it's relevant, I will answer it free of charge. But by day, I am a professional relationship coach. So for any of you that need, like you feel like, hey, my situation, I need to talk right now and I need an answer. Coaching sessions are 150 to 250 depending on the demand. It's an hour long. And just send the email to advice at TonyGaskins.com. That's advice at TonyGaskins.com. And that way, if there's availability, you can get on the phone with me or Skype audio one-on-one, share your entire situation, and get some feedback and coaching from me in that area. If that's not affordable, then you have this option, which your answer, your question may or may not be addressed, just depending on the, the load that's in the inbox and what I come across and what I feel I can answer. Now, this question for the listeners, it, you know, has some length to it, so bear with me. And I read these live on the air. I've never read this question before. So I every question, I'm reading it live on the air, and I'm answering it live on the air. So this is just all the anointing flowing through me, none of me, all of God, and hopefully y'all believe in them because that's who's using me. So if you if you, if you happen to be an atheist, you hearing from somebody that believe in God and being used by him. It says, Dear Mr. Gaskins, first and foremost, thank you for all the work you're doing to help others all over the world. Thank you very much. Now, it's amazing how she acknowledged that I'm helping people over the world, but she also expected for her question to be answered immediately. <laughs> what a, hey, that is walking by faith, and y'all see it pays off. I have listened to several of your videos on YouTube as well as several of your podcasts. You are always up front, and you tell it like it is, and I truly appreciate your body of work. May Father God continue to bless and keep you, and yours is my prayer. I have a question. Thank you very much for that. I have a question about a situation I am dealing with, and I would like to ask you for your advice and thoughts. There is a man at my job who I'm somewhat interested in. However, I want to look deep before I leap. 
We work in the same building, but in different departments. When I first noticed him, we would say good morning. He would say good morning to me and smile, and it appeared as though he was trying to get my attention by flagging me down in the hallway once in order to try to talk to me. At first, I was not paying attention to this man at all, but now I have noticed him, and we have had a few conversations on our work premises. Through these conversations, I have found that we have a lot in common. A couple of people at my job have observed both of us and feel as though we could make a good couple. Some people have even suggested that I approach him and ask him out on a date, which I am against, because in my book, the man is the hunter, and it is the man's job to pursue a woman of his interest. This man has shared some details of his personal life with me, such as he was once engaged and the relationship broke off, which he was very hurt by, and he said God was healing his heart. And he also shared with me that he never had a good relationship with his father. I never tried to judge this man for revealing some details of his personal life to me. I just figured maybe he thought I looked like a nice person and he could trust that he could trust with some of his business and confide in. And so he did. I have also heard some things from other coworkers about this man. Case in point, there was once a situation where another coworker wanted to press charges against him for claims of harassment. This coworker has also stated this man has a lot of emotional and mental problems from her point of view and based on her interactions with him. This man has done nothing to me at this time. I will say that I have noticed some differences in his personality since we first met. When I first met him, he appeared mean and rude. And later on, as time progressed, he began to be nicer and friendlier towards me. I honestly think he could have had some mood swings or some type of depression or maybe some other type of mental health issue he may be dealing with, but that does not necessarily mean he could be a bad guy. One thing about this man is I like him as a person as he is educated and he has worked for a very long time in our field. He is also very active in his local church and claims to be God-fearing. I admire his pursuit of higher education and his work ethic. He also has this ability to make me laugh at almost every time we are around one another. However, I want to recognize crazy early, and I am the type of person who would rather be single than be tangled up in a toxic relationship with the wrong man. I think there are some boundaries in place between us because we also work in the same building. I'm a very private person, and I do want, and I do not want other coworkers to think something may be going on between us because people do tend to gossip about others they suspect might be hooking up on the job, and I care about my reputation at my job, and I do not want to be talked about as the one who hooked up with such and such at the job. We have known one another for almost two years, and I have respect for this man, and I admire some traits of his character. I do not know everything about him, but I am on the fence as to whether I want to know more and potentially pursue a relationship with him. I do not date much, and I consider myself to be cautious and guarded when getting involved with someone. This man has never asked me out directly, and we have never been out on a date together. During our day-to-day -day interactions, whenever, whenever we see one another, we usually greet and or try to encourage one another to have a good day and may all go well. I do not want to be influenced by the negative statements others have said about this man. However, I also do not want to miss any warning signs or red flags that this man may be truly crazy and deranged and is possibly not the man God has ordained for me and my life. And I will say lastly, this is the last paragraph, I also find it somewhat difficult to become involved with men I work with as it can become uncomfortable for both parties. And I would not want to risk someone's or my job because it was against the rules for co-workers to date one another. We are not moving forward in our relationship beyond friendship slash co-worker, and I think there may be a reason for that, to either continue to get to know one another first or to identify those warning signs and avoid one another from here on out. But if I am not the one for him and if he's not the one for me, I would rather know up front so we can remain cordial, professional, with one another and be able to walk away before we get too involved. Tony, please help. Okay. Thank you so much for writing that email. Very long, very detailed, you know, you and very well written. I mean, not sure what 
field you are in, but you definitely could uh, probably be a journalist or something. You know, I would maybe try blogging as well, you know, start your a blog or, or, you know, be a contributor for one of these websites, you know, Huffington Post or something, because that was very well written. I mean, I didn't see a typo. I mean, it was, it was really good. I will say that, mm, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord, what can I do? You know, it, this email, it, with so many others that I read, I'm like, Lord, I got to do more. Like, I, I wish I had the money. Maybe we can crowdfund and we can start an actual real love university and build this university and I can write a full curriculum for every aspect of a relationship and you go through the class and you get a bachelor's, a master's, and a doctorate. Like, that's what I'm feeling. You just gave me the idea. One day, maybe if I get Oprah money, I'm going to do it. If I get Oprah money, y'all hold me to my word. If I get Oprah money, I'm building Real Love University, a brick-and-mortar place with online classes. And let me tell you, because you wrote a very long email for really no reason. And, and what I mean by that is there is nothing there at all. Because just like you said, you believe a man is the hunter. He's the one that pursues the woman. You said you have known this man for two years, for two years. And you're not listening. You say you're not listening to other people's reviews of him. But even you noticed some mood swings, some possible mental health issues, and it was confirmed by another co-worker's uh, review or testimonial of him that he's crazy, that he has some issues. It's kind of like when you are a CEO of your company and that's how you have to see yourself, you are a brand, you are a CEO. If someone comes in your company and their resume has some terminations or they have a, you know, a job listed and you call the job and the job says he's crazy and he was terminated, you don't say, well, oh, well, maybe I could give him a chance. No, because you got too much to risk and there's too many people that can do the job. So it's too many men to take a chance on a man that is not checking for you. Like he speaks to you, but you say y'all pass each other and he and y'all say, have a great day. Y'all figure out a way to say, have a great day. If a man likes, if a man likes a woman, you will not, you will not pass him daily and him not let you know that. And you also said that you, some people have said you should ask him on a date. If he has not asked you on a date, he does not want to date you. So you have to realize that if he's not pursuing you and he hasn't asked you on a date and he sees you and he passes you and not pursuing you, that's not your man. And you mentioned, you know, you want to wait on the man that God has for you. You know, you want to make sure that this is done the right way. If God sends a man for you, he will send that man. If God's hand is in it, the man will not walk past you for two years and just say hi and bye. And as you said, that y'all have not gone on a date. You said, this man has never asked me out directly and we have never been out on a date together. During our day-to-day -day interactions, whenever we see one another, we usually greet 
and or try to encourage one another to have a good day and may all go well. So see what's happening here is like what happens with so many women, you know, and I can't fault you, can't blame you, is it's not enough going on in your life. So you go to work and then you go home and whatever is at home is not purposeful enough to take your mind off of what happened at work or who happened at work. So this man is saying hello to you. You know, he waved you down once in the hallway to speak to you. He went from being rude and mean to being nice. But because outside of work, you aren't purpose driven. You're fantasizing about this man. You're thinking about this man. You are typing up a very long email about this man when you are not on his mind at all when he's at home. He has a whole nother woman or women that he's entertaining, and he hasn't thought to make you even one of them, let alone his woman. So, and it's crazy, I'm, I'm getting these same messages over and over. I'm getting ready to shoot a course on dating uh, because I, I keep getting these, you know, questions over and over and I'm getting ready to make an online course on dating, which is answering, addressing all of these things because it is so important to know. It is so important to know. A hungry lion will never let a gazelle walk past him. And that's and what I mean by that is a man who is ready for a relationship will never let the woman that he's attracted to walk past him. Never, 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 ever. If he does, he's not ready for a relationship. Now, you could approach him and talk to him and he may get ready, but that is a point zero 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 one percent chance of that happening. Some people have said it hap it has happened, and I'm sure it has, but they don't even know what they have. They don't even know what they're in. They don't even know if there's real love there. They don't even know if that man has been cheating from day one. They don't even know. I've never seen it happen in a real way or organic a way that I can trust and believe that this is real love, where the woman approached the man and he was excited to see her and to meet her and to be with her and that he's with her and she's the love of his life. I'm sure that story is out there. But for that one story, it's 10 million others where that situation went wrong. And so to answer your question that you wanted answered, uh, so badly that you wrote back saying, hey, I need this answer now. For one, you might need to sign up for a coaching call if you if you need to, you know, dive deeper, you know, and really share more insight or get more insight into it. But that is not your man. Say hey and bye. Leave him there. Don't let him go home in your mind. Keep your eyes open. Keep your head on a swivel. It's probably another man that's watching you and looking at you and trying to get your attention that you're ignoring because you're thinking about this man. This man is on your mind to where now subconsciously you've blocked other men from even entering your view because you're thinking about this man. That is not your man. He does not want a relationship with you. He is not interested in the least bit. And if he is, he's already taken. He's already taken. So I hope that helps you. I know it might not be what you wanted to hear, but I know if you're listening, it'll save you some time and some heartache. And if things happen to change, you'll know it because he will approach you. He will look like a new creature and he will be consistent. He will ask you on a date and he will date you and he will court you consistently and you won't have to scratch your head in wonder if he likes you or not. Thank you so much for sending your question in. If you have a question, please send it in to inbox at tonygaskins.com. I wish I could do this all day. I wish I could, 
you know, answer 50 of these a day and, and just upload all 50 a day. Um, that's how many I, I got to go through, but I'm, I'm doing my best. If you need more, please visit TonyGaskinsAcademy.com. Get to Real Love University. It's only $9.99, and you can watch it as many times as you want. Take a million notes, write a book from it. Or if you need to talk to me personally, just send an email to advice at TonyGaskins.com, advice at TonyGaskins.com. Coaching sessions do cost, and they are not what I would call cheap, but, you know, due to the industry and the time constraints, um, you know, we have to put a price on it. So if you need that, email me, advice at TonyGaskins.com. Let me know you're from the podcast. You're one of my podcast listeners. Um, Thank you so much. God bless you. We'll talk soon.